Thank you.
Yes. Who's going to sign that? Yes. So if we keep, if we go to the I'll just, that way I'll be clear. Yeah. I thought you would have come up. I'm just going to go.
Well, thank you very much. Um, I'm not really going to say anything at all at this point, but just to say that um, so Yuki Hito Masuda, our artist today, is going to give a brief talk back as well. So you, would you like to oh, come okay. up here and find the easiest? So, are going to stand next to him? Yeah. Okay. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Yuki Hitomasura. Thank you so much for coming to my exhibition preview this evening. I would like to introduce myself, but first, May I thank Daiwo Foundation for giving me the opportunity and Miss Ogawa and Miss Kasa for their kind assistance. I also thank uh, Mr. and uh, Mrs. Jones for their support in making this exhibition possible. Okay. 18歳の時にパリに渡りました。なぜパリなのかと思われるでしょう。I'll just 
provide the translation, which is not mine. <laughs> I wanted to become a photographer. I left Japan when I was 18 without finishing my high school and went to Paris. Why Paris? I had an ambitious dream of becoming an assistant to Guy Bourdin, the world famous photographer of Paris Vogue. I hadn't met him, nor could I speak French. <laughs> I asked an interpreter to write on my clothing. I came from Japan to become an assistant to Monsieur Guy Bourdin. Please let me work for him. I sat in front of the Vogue building for one year. <laughs> As you can imagine, I was removed by the police many times. The Japanese embassy staff threatened me and said that I was ashamed of Japan and should be deported. But I refused to give in. A Japanese model, Hiroko Matsumoto, working at Vogue at that time, introduced me to Guy Baudin, and finally my dream came true. I learned a great deal of his philosophy rather than just photographic techniques, which is still very much alive in my photography. I have recently found out that Guy Bourdin's photographic exhibition is on at the moment at Somerset House. Neither of, of us would have thought such a coincidence could ever be possible if he was still alive. Life sometimes choreographs such unexpected drama. Now I would like to talk about the exhibits. When I first came to Europe, I was very much moved to find out that art was in people's homes and everyday life. Europe taught me that in art there is no boundary of race, age or religion and that one's work is judged purely on its merits. When I was a boy, I was taking photographs of Buddhist sculptures, shrines and temples. But in Paris, I was drawn to post-impressionist sculpture masterworks. Much photography of still work is simply to record the art subject. For me, I wanted to bring out the power of the subject and even the artist's inner feelings at the time of his work in order to achieve a new style of photography. The exhibits in the Muse side room are some examples. I moved my camera vertically. I moved my camera vertically for Baudel's works 
and I turned my camera on Rodin's Gates of Hell plaque in the garden of the Rodin Museum in Paris. It could be seen as frivolous, but on the other hand, I think I was able to capture other sides of the arts, art subject and to express deeper understanding of the subject. At that time, I was struggling to find the answer how I could financially survive while taking photos only for pleasure. In my work, work of Bordel, I can see myself being trapped in the emotional conflict. After Mayo, Bordel, and Rodin, I became interested in Michelangelo. <coughs> the first work of Michelangelo I saw was the Rodanini Pieta at Sforza Castle in Milan. This is Michelangelo's unfinished Pieta, but through the camera lens I saw the finished work. At this moment I knew I wanted to photograph all the works of Michelangelo. The works of Michelangelo are regarded as Italy's national treasures. It is very difficult to obtain permission. It also requires large payments of money. The preliminary funds for the project were donated by entrepreneurs in Japan. This was my first sponsored project and a huge undertaking. Getting permission was very difficult. Even if achieved, it was cancelled or rescheduled frequently. Funds were getting low. When I was about to give up the project, the miraculous help of light saved me. Since I use only natural light, I normally ask churches and museums to turn their lights off. In the dark church, I'd set up my camera looking up at Michelangelo's Christ holding a cross. All of a sudden, a thread of light fell onto the Christ's right hand. The light moved very slowly towards the back, and the Christ statue was lit up. I didn't know what was happening, but I kept shooting. It was actually a sunbeam coming through a gap in the broken rose window in the roof. The priest was so astonished to see this miraculous moment captured in the photographs that he gave a special prayer and told me that this project had God's blessing. <laughs> After this, not only was I able to continue the project, but two further incidents of light helped me produce providential works. In the Muse side room, you can see these works 
as work 9 and work 12. Work 9 is the most providential image which you can see in the catalogue. I named this Michelangelo project Genesis as I believe this was the beginning of my new era as a photographer. Through Genesis, I learned the invisible world. This spiritual experience led me to the Kaminomiya project exhibited in the Parkside Room. Kaminomiya is a collection of photography of Sengu, which is the most important ritual in Japan. Sengu Sengu is a shrine renewal and the repositioning of the enshrined god or goddesses, which has been repeated over the last 1300 years. Like Britain, Japan is surrounded by ocean, but unlike Britain, Japan has a quite different culture, having many gods in nature. They give us plenty of foods from the sea and mountains and punish us with earthquakes and typhoons. Since ancient times, we have had to accept and cohabit with it. This is the reason how we identify each spirit in nature and its phenomenon and express our gratitude for nature's blessings and respect, uh, respect its power through Matsuri, the Shinto rituals, to many gods that are controlling our nation. We call them Yao Yorozu no Kami, eight million gods of Japan. When Buddhism was introduced to Japan, people thought new gods had arrived. In Japan, we celebrate the new, new year at Shinto shrines. In August, we visit Buddhist temples where our ancestors' spirits are enshrined. <coughs> We celebrate Christmas in December. This unusual concept of accepting all gods must come from the eight million gods' belief. I believe this concept is important for all humanity in the wider world. Together with my colleagues of the Kami no Miya working group, I would like to introduce this spirituality through the photo images of Sengu. My Genesis project of Michelangelo's works is in fact uncompleted. I was going to photograph San Pietro Pieta and the fresco of the Sistine Chapel ceiling at the Vatican to complete the project. Although the negotiations with the Vatican were physically and mentally exhausting, finally their permission was granted, and I was just about to start shooting. Then the terror of 9-11 happened in New York. Vatican 
以来、その銅は閉まったままです。This incident led the Vatican to decide not to allow access. Since then, the Vatican's door has been shut. I hope my Genesis project will be completed sometime when a peaceful world returns. Until then, I will continue taking photographs, looking forward to the conclusion of Genesis. Thank you very much. Right, apparently, we're, we're not going to do QA here,、um, but we, is that right?、Um, we're going to、um, go back downstairs, have more sushi, have more wine. Look again at the photographs, of course, and please、um, you know, do approach m a s u l i a s a n and、uh, you know, ask him your questions directly. And also, the catalogue,、um, which is on the table, I think, in the park side the gallery, is for sale if you're interested in buying it. And、uh, it's £20 a copy. He's going to sell it.、Uh, and he will, yes, he'll sign it for you. <laughs> <laughs> so that makes it a bargain. So、uh, thank you very much for, for coming this evening. <laughs>